Ganga Polytechnic was established in 1999 but began its academic programs in September 2003. The main campus of the Polytechnic is located in Sombrongo, near Bolgatanga, the capital of Upper East Region, Ghana. The Polytechnic started work at the formal meats marketing company building in Bukere, a suburb of Bolgatanga. The building was eventually acquired for the Polytechnic which became the first permanent site. The Polytechnic operated from the site where it recruited its pioneers, staff and also introduced its first academic programs until 2007 when it relocated to its new site in Sombrungu, Bogatanga, Navrungu Highway. Over the years, the Bogatanga Polytechnic has grown in terms of infrastructure, staff numbers and qualifications in academic programs as well as students' members. Currently, the Polytechnic has two campuses, namely the Bukeri Campus and the Sombrungu. The old Bukeri campus houses the evening school of the Polytechnic where both tertiary and non-tertiary programs are run. Sombrungu or the main campus is where the administration of the Polytechnic is located together with all the full-time academic programs. The Polytechnic currently has three schools namely the School of Business and Management Studies, School of Applied Science and Arts and School of Engineering with various tertiary academic programs running under the schools. Right, thank you very much uh, for, for coming. Uh, my name is Daniel Opon Setre. I'm the Dean of the School of Applied Science and Arts. Well, I was uh, employed in February 2012. But my roles as a Dean uh, include but not limited to the following. I'm responsible for the management and supervision of all uh, matters relating to both academic and uh, administration of all the departments uh, under my care and the departments are five uh, department of uh, hotel catering and institutional management department of statistics department of ecological agriculture department of liberal studies and then uh, department of industrial arts Again, my role is to assist the day-to-day -day management um, uh, of the Polytechnic and then also any other responsibilities assigned um, to me by the manager of the school, that is the rector. Generally, the, um, the school aims to train students to acquire the requisite competencies uh, to contribute to the development uh, of the science and arts um, industries and to meet standards uh, of the industries. Again, the, the focus is to provide relevant uh, career-focused and skill-based education uh, to, to um, students. My name is uh, George N. Dutz. The department is one of the, pro the departments that were accredited in the year 2008. And uh, the mandate was to cater for the visual arts, fine arts, and um, vocational aspects of the economy. That was the purpose for which the program was mounted. Over the years, we started with smaller numbers, but there has been significant growth. And we are currently running four full options in uh, graphic design, fashion design and textiles, sculpture, and then painting and decoration. Over the years, we have been able to tender out a good number of uh, graduates. And as the Polytechnic uh, focus is all about, we are expected to train graduates who are specialized in the production of artifacts which are marketable for the purposes of setting up themselves and also serving the industry. Apart from that, we have graduates working at various sectors across the, the country in various departments, some in education, some in the advertising industry, 
others have set up their own businesses and they have in turn employ others. I think the department is one of the fast growing departments and we hope that uh, in the near future it will grow to become a faculty or a school on its own. We've taken part in a number of exhibitions and um, our students stand tall when they meet their colleagues, either on the job market or wherever. We have also been able to uh, produce a few senior members, and so we are heading towards Mountain BTEC program to cater for our graduates who have uh, passed through here, including all others who have not passed through here. Like I said earlier on, we didn't start with bigger numbers. And so we have been able to secure equipment to better the lots of our uh, studios. So various studios have uh, significant equipment that will enhance teaching and learning, which also means that students will have more specialized training as they enter here. I think the, the, the department is the F1 among the programs that are run in the department, I mean in the uh, entire polytechnic. As a department and as head of department, I call on all students, sympathizers, friends, philanthropists who have heard of this department to be ambassadors. They should be able to speak well based on our performance so that it will become a very uh, formidable institution and department for that matter and then absorb a lot of qualified students who are willing and who are potentials to enter here because it is a hands-on training institution and department for that matter so when you come you are equipped very well and you are able to live on your own, establish your own business or work for industry and be paid. Yes, so I will recommend that uh, people who will hear about the department should take time to visit and get to know much about it and also preach to the outside world so that potential students can come and then in the end, the institution will become a very big one. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for giving me this uh, opportunity to talk about my department. My name is Bright Buzong Yinti, the current head of department of ecological agriculture. Um, I would first of all want to start by telling you the mandate of the department and the mandate of our department is to ensure that we train our students so that they will be in a position to provide the needed knowledge and skills for sustainable development of the agricultural sector in the country. But the question is as a department what do we have in order to carry out this our mandate? Um, our current staff population standards uh, 15 um, of which three part-time lecturers are included. We also have three technicians to help us in our practical activities. Um, regards to our practical activities, we have two practical fields. One located right here on campus and the second one outside campus. Um, we also have um, a student population of 37, that is from first year to the third years. The current first years are about 15, the second years are around 13, and then the final years we have nine students. Um, in ensuring that we deliver our mandate, we take our students through a lot of academic exercises, both practicals and then what? Theory. And I would like to say something small about the practicals. Um, with the practicals, 
as I said, we have one practical field right here on campus. And almost each day, our students are there, I mean, trying their hands on a number of agriculture activities. Um, we also take them through field trips so that they will have the opportunity to learn a lot of things. For instance, I think last three years, we took them to um, UDS Meat Factory, Savannah Agriculture Research Institute in Tamale. We went to the Tono Irrigation Site and a number of areas. And all these are geared towards ensuring that the students are practically what? Equipped. With the theory aspect, the student in the first year and second year uh, usually do core courses. And when I say core courses or general courses, they are necessary courses you must take once you are in the first and second year. But from the second year moving towards the third year, the students have the opportunity to select from four areas of specialization. And these areas include, um, we have the crop science, the animal option, the post-harvest option, and then what? The horticulture option. And all these options have practical activities that go with them. And currently, these are the four areas of specializations that we have in the department. If you ask me how our students are faring outside there, I would say they are doing very, very well. Um, we have a lot of them working in the government sector. And when I say government sector, I'm referring to the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. A lot of them are gainfully employed there. We also have a number of NGOs where you can find our students working. Um, we can locate our students in a number of educational institutions where they are teaching agri sciences. And then a number of NGOs you can find our students in there. So for now, I think um, I can confidently say that our students are faring well once they leave the walls of Bolga Polytechnic. But what are our plans? As a department, every, every, uh, every department wants to grow big and big. And I can say that um, plans are far advanced so that maybe if accreditation is given, in the next one or two years, we should be able to run the BTEC in ecological agriculture, which I think would help the department. So for now, that is all I have to say about the ecological agriculture department. Thank you. My name is Abdul Majid Ayebiri, a senior lecturer in Bogatanga Polytechnic and the head of the department for hotel catering and institution management. The department started somewhere in 2008 under the visionary and inspirational leadership of the then rector, Professor Paul Tanzuro. The department started with three lecturers and about 32 students. Over the years, the school has recruited a number of lecturers and the student population has also witnessed a significant increase. The department has gone through a series of metamorphoses over the years and today the student population stands at about 200. Uh, we have about 81 students in the first year, 62 students in the second year and about 50 students in the third year. As a department, we are focused on training and equipping students with technical and vocational skills to meet the middle manpower requirements of the country. Graduate unemployment is on the ascendancy in the country and the key to addressing this problem is through technical and vocational education. To be able to train students and uh, equip them with practical skills, the department has a student demonstration center where students go for their accommodation practicals. The department also has a functional restaurant where students go for restaurant training. And here you are talking of uh, food production as well as the uh, uh, FMB, that is uh, food and beverage services. Products of the department are open to various opportunities in the public sector and private sector. Uh, they can gain employment in educational and health institutions as domestic business. They can also uh, gain employment in airline companies they can also work in hotels and restaurants. The opportunities are bound for them in the both uh, public and private sector. But beyond working in the public sector, we also are talking of students being able to set up their own businesses. And that is actually the focus of this particular 
program. Uh, but Gatanga Polytechnic has become a center of excellence as far as training of uh, students are concerned. And so we urge uh, young people who are looking for tertiary institutions to go to make this particular place their preferred uh, choice. Thank you very much.